systems such as text classifiers, text summarizers, um, we often require a process, a very essential process in these systems, which is text normalization. And when I'm talking about text normalization, it's essential to know why it is necessary. So imagine a text classifier and I want to feed the raw text into this. It's not possible because most of the classifiers require numerical data to learn something from it because these algorithms require numerical data to, to, to learn a pattern. And that's why we need to convert our text or standardize our text in a form that could be fed into these machine learning models. And this is where text normalization comes in. Text normalization often consists of various operations that are performed on our text because we want to wrangle, standardize and clean our text in a form that could be fed into machine learning models. And that is why it's often a sequential process where, which we have to perform. Um, and we will be creating a module text normalizer.py in which we will be implementing all these operations that uh, are going to be performed sequentially. So we can just feed in our text into this module and get output as a normalized text. And we will be reusing this module in our further projects to implement uh, systems such as text summarizers, text classifiers, document, document similarity checker. So we'll be learning how to reuse this module further. And the operations that we'll be implementing in this particular module are text cleaning, which is going to be used uh, for cleaning our text or any HTML um, data. So if you have scraped data from a web page, which is, going, which is most probably going to be an XML or HTML page, how do we clean that and get only the raw text from that particular page? How we can go ahead and tokenize it because we further want to tokenize our text and we've already learned that in our previous videos. We'll also be learning how to remove special characters from our text. We'll also be learning how to expand contractions. So if you have a contraction such as this, how do you break this contraction into two individual words? Because it often consists of multiple words. And then we'll also be learning how to convert a lowercase um, text into uppercase text or vice versa. And then we'll also be learning how to remove stop words from a text and correcting the words, um, such as if we have misspelled words or repeating characters in a word, how do we, how do we remove them? How do we, how do we correct them? And then finally, we'll be discussing some of the pre-processing techniques I mentioned earlier, such as stemming and lemmatization. So let's get started. All right, so in my, I'm in my collab environment here. And as you can see, it's a bit different than the Jupyter Notebook I used to um, use in my previous tutorials. And the reason why I chose to um, work on collab is because I want you guys to be able to, um, you, uh, to open the same notebook um, as you're watching my videos um, so that you can uh, simultaneously code along with me um, and not just watch me code okay so it's it's, it's going to be um, it's going to be something that that's going to keep your interest going and uh, yeah so it's going to be an, it's going to be an activity for you guys as well so I've actually provided the link for the same notebook in the description and if you click on that it will open up the the core lab environment for you and you're good to go and basically you just need to install the libraries on the Colab and most of the libraries uh, actually come along with Colab so you, so you don't really need to install a lot of libraries but a few of the libraries that I have actually specified here might need to ha might need some additional um, pre installations um, for example this contractions library that I've chosen um, that I'll be work I, that I'll be using in this tutorial is is not actually pre-installed in Colab so you might actually need to install this by typing um, pip install contractions okay and then when you do that this should give you a message if, if the library is installed or not so you can see um i've already installed this library and it says that i've already um, downloaded this library but uh you might get an error if you import this so you have to first run this command to download this library okay and the second thing that you need to do is you need to also set up the the collections of uh, you need to also install the collections of nltk and you do that by typing nltk.download and you specify all okay when i type that um so as you can see um it's, it's going to take some time to download everything but for me everything was downloaded so as you can see it says the collections have been downloaded but for you it might it's might gonna it's, it's gonna take some time to actually download and once you've downloaded it, you are good to go okay so yeah that's what I wanted to tell you before we get started. All right, so in this tutorial, um, I've actually created a structure for you guys, which is going to be the class norm text normalizer. 
that we will be implementing and I actually showed this class to you in, in the introduction and what we're going to be doing is we'll be implementing all these functions one by one and our goal is to be able to create this as a reusable module uh, so that we can actually reuse this in our um, further um, projects such as the text classification or text summarization where the text normalization is uh, one of the very essential steps to perform and we don't want to just reinvent the wheel every time we, so that so that so if you want to be able to um, so if you're able to create this class we can reuse use this in our further projects and we don't have to do it again and again right so that's gonna save our save, save some time for us okay and the reason why I'm implement, implementing this class for you guys is because I want you guys to learn uh, the different functions and different pre-processing techniques available and this is actually a good start because um, as we will code along these functions we will realize all that all the powerful techniques that we can uh, perform on the text to uh, normalize it and get it in a, in a form or in a standardized form that could essentially be that to essentially be used for further feature extraction which we will be learning in our upcoming videos all right so to get started um first of all i would just like to show you the show you the goal that we want to reach so first so what we should we want, want, to, want to be able to do essentially is when we call this text normalizer um cl class and create an instance for that we should be able to actually no call this normalize function um and then pass in our text and then as soon as we actually go ahead and pass in this text, we should be able to get, uh, we should be able to perform all these steps sequentially and get a normalized text as an output, right? So that's what we want to do in this video. And obviously I might not be able to complete all of this in one video, so I might actually divide this in parts, okay? So yeah, let's get started now. So first thing that we will do is we will actually specify what uh, the structure of the class, right? So we want to be able to call these functions sequentially. So what I will do is I will actually specify some of the arguments in this normalized function and those are going to be, um, first of all, um, whether we want to clean the text or not. So what I can do for that is I can just say clean equals, so the default argument for all of these things is going to be true. So we don't have to, so if you don't even specify them, these processes are going to be still performed. And then we want to be able to remove the stop words. Uh, and this is actually a, a process that you, you might want to perform sequentially, right? Because um, I'll actually explain the reason um, for this later, but first now, but now just just specify the arguments with me. If you want to be so, if you want to remove stop words, we will specify that. If you want to remove special characters, I'll just say special underscore um, chars, and then if you want, and also we put that as true. Okay, so this is good. Now what we want to be able to do is we want to go ahead and create a condition for all of these things. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and specify. Um, if clean, if I specify clean, I want to be able to um, say text equals um, self dot clean um, text, which is the which is the which is the function that I that is here. We want to be able to call that function and then pass in our text that we just got from this particular function, right? And what we will essentially get is that we will actually create this function in a way that actually cleans the text and returns um, the output okay and actually I will I will um, I will actually go ahead and explain these functions as I as I, as I implement them okay so don't worry for now just just uh, do what I'm doing and just um, implement just write this code to create a, a to create a sequential structure that it, so that you can so that you can follow this structure okay and then what I will do is I will just go ahead and create I will update this text with um, the expanded contractions and these contractions are going to be expanded with the help of this function which is expand contractions so I'll just go ahead and say self dot expand contractions and then I'll specify the text inside this as well and yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest of the conditions now all right, so you can see that I've actually, uh, I've actually, um, uh, I've actually added all the rest of the conditions that I wanted to um, perform, and you can see that uh, how I've done this is in a sequential manner. And the reason why I'm doing this is because um, you need to understand what's really happening with the text essentially. So all of these functions, um, the way they are, the way they are performed is because. Um, First of all, uh, 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 if it's an HTML, if it's an HTML scraped text, so this function right here, the clean text function, the other, we will be implementing this function for um, scraping, uh, for actually extracting text out of an HTML. Because um, when we will be further creating as a text summarizer, 
what we will be doing is we will be actually um, parsing HTML documents and then further extracting the text for summarization, right? So we need to be able to first of all clean the text before we before we perform anything else because all those additional HTML tags need to be removed. So we will be doing that first. So um, that's why I've put that I've put this in the in the first place so that then so if you don't specify anything we should first be able to check if you have any HTML text present in the text and then we should be able to extract the text from that particular string okay and then what we need to do is we need to uh, check if we have any contractions so the contractions are supposed to be um uh, supposed to be the words such as the uh, couldn't so you can if if so if you have a word couldn't we should be able to expand that into could not which means that it it compo it composes of it's composed of two or three words together right and we need to be able to expand that contraction and um i need to correct the spelling here and yeah so so with the help of that we, we will be able to find out um whether we have any stop words in that contraction because as you can realize that um could not uh, itself has two different stop words and they need to be removed because they don't have any um they don't have any important importance in the text and they don't they, they don't really need to be in the text for for the training because those are not very important they're not considered to be important words and that is why later on if we, we were able to expand the contractions later on we will be able to remove them um, with the help of this remove stop words function and finally if we have any additional special characters such as the exclamation mark question mark commas or single quotes we should be able to remove them as well and um and finally when we have all the text cleaned and lemmatized and all the stop words have been removed and special characters have been removed we now have raw text and we can now use uh, we can now convert the text to either lower or uppercase because that's the only thing that we need to perform right and you can see that uh, since um uh we will be having either the uppercase or lowercase so we need we need to be able to perform uh, we need to be able to pass in the true or false here so that um so if we specify true we should be able to convert our uh, text into uppercase and if we specify false we should be able to convert our case into uh, our text what we'll be doing okay so for this video i've just i've just uh, shown you how what we'll be doing and how we'll be calling these functions in our next video we'll be implementing all these functions step by step